Okay, in this video you're going to learn how to merge documents and envelopes. Um, at First Choice Travel is offering a special cruise package and Melissa Gehring has asked you to prepare a data source document with client information and merge it with a letter describing the cruise special and then print the envelopes for the letter. So at a blank document click the mailings tab and select recipient list. Mailings. Um, select recipients. in the start mail merge and we're going to type a new list. This displays the new address list dialog box with pre-designed fields. You can use these pre-designed fields as well as create your own custom fields. Click the customize columns button located at the bottom of the dialog box. The pre-designed fields offer most of the fields you need for your data source document, but you need to decide to, but you decide to delete six of the pre-designed fields and insert two of your own. At the custom address list dialog box, click company name to select it and then click the delete button. So company name, delete. Yes. Complete steps similar to those in three and four to delete the following. Address line two, country or region. Let's see if we can select them all. Nope, we can only do one. Address line two. Delete, yes. Country or region, delete, yes. Uh, home phone, work phone, and email. Home phone, delete, yes. Work phone, delete, yes. Email, delete, yes. Um, click the Add button. If the new address list dialog box does not provide all variable information, you can create your own custom field. Okay, in the Add field dialog box, type membership. and then OK, and then click the Add button again, and type Discount, and OK. Click OK to close the Customize Address List dialog box, and at the New Address List dialog box with the insertion point positioned in the title field, type Misses, and then press the Tab key. Pressing the tab key moves the insertion point to the first name field. Press the tab key to move to the insertion point to the next field and shift enter um, to move the insertion point to the previous field. Actually it should be shift tab to the previous field. Um, continue typing the text in the specified fields as indicated in figure 4-5. Um, after entering all the information for the last client in figure 4 or 5, click the OK button. Um, after typing 3% for Jerome Ellington, do not press the tab key. If you do, a new blank client record will be created. OK, at the Save Address List dialog box, navigate to your Word S4 folder. Um, well, actually, um, after I type this, I'm going to click OK. Okay, and here I am at the Save As dialog box. I'm going to go find my OneDrive. And I'm going to find my Word S4 folder. Okay, and I'm going to name my file um, WS4-FCT Data Source. Enter. Word automatically saves the data source as an access database. Okay, now I'm going to open FCT Cruise Letter. I'm going to click the Mailings tab, and this is really small, so I'll zoom in a little bit here so we can see it. And I'm also going to change the view to print layout, or one page would be best. And uh, print layout. It's in, um, I'm still with the web page from the previous exercise. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Okay, um, I'm going to click the mailings tab, select recipient list. Using the existing list. And now I'm gonna at the I'm gonna find the file I just made. So I'm gonna go to my OneDrive, I'm gonna go to my Word S4 folder, 
and find my data source file right here. And I'm going to double click it. Okay, doesn't do anything. However, it has offered me or more options now. So I'm going to move the insertion point a double space above the first paragraph of text right here. Um, and I'm going to click the address block in the write and insert fields group right here. And we're just going to work left to right. So address block. And then I'm just going to click OK. Okay, and it just, you'll see what it does here in a minute. It just has that code looking thing now, but that's okay. This inserts the necessary field code to insert the client name and address in the letter. Press enter key twice. And then click the greeting line button. Okay, we just did address block, now greeting line. And at the insert greeting line dialog box, click the down pointing arrow at the right side of the option box containing the comma and click the colon okay because in a letter you always put a colon okay and it's always dear courtesy title last name okay also if there is no recipient's name it will put this in as a generic and that's fine you have some to pick from but we'll leave it at that and then click OK move the insertion point to the end of the first paragraph and type with your space and then click the membership field by clicking the insert merge field right here and choose membership press spacebar and then type membership comma you will receive an additional discount an additional I'd just leave it at that. Press the space bar, which I did, and then click the insert discount field. Okay. Uh, press space bar and type discount. And period. The sentence you just typed should look like this. With your and then membership inside the the in greater than and less than symbols. Membership you will receive an additional discount discount. Uh, click the save button on the quick access toolbar. Merge the letter with the records and the data source. Begin by clicking the finish and merge button. Okay, before we do this though, I'm going to do preview results. Right now, all you can see are these code, coded places. Okay, when I click preview results, now you can see the information from each field is placed inside with your premier choice membership you will receive an additional three percent discount that's the first record you can even arrow through and see it change for all the other ones okay i'm going to click finish and merge and i'm going to edit individual documents at the merge new document dialog box click ok for all okay and then now, notice this is a brand new file. Letters one at the top. We need to save it as a different file name as indicated in your book. Um, and then you can print and close these letters. Four letters will print. Um, and then we're going to do the envelopes, okay? So now um, I need to get a blank document. Mailing, start mail merge. This time envelopes. At the envelope options dialog box, click OK when it pops up. And you can change all kinds of things here if you'd like, but we're just going to click OK. It shows one big envelope. Um, select a recipient list. I'm going to select use an existing list. I'm going to go find the one I made earlier again in my Word S4 folder. and it's an access file because it's in pink okay um, click in the approximate location in the envelope in the document where the client's name and address will appear that's who we're sending it to so like here okay 
Uh, this causes a box with a dashed gray border to display. If you do not see this box, try clicking in a different location. I just turned on my show hide and you can see the paragraph symbol that way. Click the address block and click OK. And again, you can do preview results and you can see what this is going to look like. Also, I want to point something out too. When I'm previewing my results, I don't know if any of you have noticed this or not, but some of them, I have two spaces here. And it's because when I typed Mr. Period, when I was doing the day source, I hit spacebar at the end. So you want to be careful with that because it will show up when you merge it. Um, I'm going to do edit individual doc, finish and merge. Edit individual documents, OK, and now you can see it's a brand new file of envelopes, page one of four, and you can scroll through and actually see all four envelopes. Go ahead and save it as indicated, and then you're going to print. It says this document will print four envelopes. Um, don't actually print them. This is just for practice.